Stress at work, eating junk food, and poor sleep prevents you from achieving your dream body and can even make things worse. But losing weight isn't always about strict diets and exhausting workouts. There are many tricks that can help you lose a bit of excess weight in just two weeks. In today's video, we're going to share with you 15 tips that can help you get rid of excess belly fat. Most people don't even know about these tricks. Number 15. Avoid sugary drinks. When your sweet tooth kicks in, you're often tempted to chug a can of soda or some fruit juice. However, if you're just determined to lose weight, this sugary addiction must stop. It has been proved by doctors from the Department of Nutrition at the Harvard School of Public Health that drinking sugary beverages contributes to being overweight and obese. Number 14. Drink green tea. Do you want to burn more fats? According to Dr. Marguerite Westerterp Platenga of Maastricht University, Drinking green tea may help because it's loaded with antioxidants called catechins, which enhances its fat-burning capabilities. Number 13. Hide unhealthy foods. Apply this rule to unhealthy foods, out of sight, out of mind. According to a study by scientists at Ohio State University, you crave unhealthy snacks more when they're within your reach. This finding is reiterated by doctors at Cornell University and VTT Technical Research Center of Finland in their research. Keep unhealthy foods in the cupboard and not on your countertops. You can switch to healthier options such as a bowl of fruit if you can't stop snacking. Number 12. Brush your teeth more often. Brushing doesn't only clean your teeth, it can also help in the fight against excess weight if you brush during the day. Around 15,000 people took part in a research project conducted by the Catholic University of Korea and Korea University. The research showed that there's a link between brushing your teeth and losing weight. Toothpaste removes leftover food from your mouth and it stops communication with our receptors. Our brain receives a signal that says, lunch is over. Number 11. Laugh more. This isn't a joke. Sincere laughter uses about the same amount of energy as walking since it involves different muscles, especially abdominal ones. Data gathered by a team of researchers at the Department of Medicine of Vanderbilt University showed that 10 to 15 minutes of laughter a day can burn 10 to 40 calories so we recommend that you watch more comedy shows. Can't get a good laugh with the comedy shows you're already watching? Sign up for a laughter yoga club instead. This is no laughing matter. Currently, there are about 6,000 groups worldwide. Laughter is the best medicine indeed. Number 10. Drink more water. We're told time and time again that drinking enough water speeds up the fat-burning process. If you're not convinced, a team of scientists from the Humboldt University and the German Institute of Human Nutrition researched this topic they asked the participants of their study to drink two large glasses of water. As a result, their metabolism became 30% faster and more efficient. Scientists claimed that by drinking 50 fluid ounces more a day, a person can burn around 17,400 calories per year, approximately 4 pounds. Number 9. Follow the 2.5 minute rule. This rule was established by scientists at Colorado State University and the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus. They call it sprint interval training and it requires a two and a half minute intense workout every day. The thing is, five to 30 seconds of hard exercise during a workout, for example, speeding up while riding a bike or running on a treadmill with four minute breaks may increase your metabolism and you'll burn an extra 200 calories. Do high intensity exercises and always give 100% to burn more fat. Number eight, eat less but more often. It's easy, when you eat frequently, you let your body know that there's no need to accumulate fats. When we skip a meal, we send the opposite signal, and we tend to eat more. Based on research from the Department of Nutritional Sciences at the University of Toronto, eating little and often reduces cholesterol levels by 15% and insulin levels by almost 28%. Insulin plays an important role since it controls the level of sugar in the blood. If there's a lack of insulin, glucose reaches neither fat cells nor muscles. Number 7. Remove the bright blue light from electronic displays. Here's another simple way to increase your metabolism. Remove the blue light from your phone if you use it before bedtime. However, experts do say that it's better to avoid screen time completely before going to sleep. Oh well. A study conducted by scientists from the Department of Physiological Anthropology at Kyushu University showed that bright light confuses our brain, which then stops producing melatonin. Our metabolism is tightly connected to our sleeping patterns and the amount and quality of our sleep. Adjust the light tones emitted by your screens and you'll see an improvement in your sleep. Number 6. Stop counting calories. Nutritionists recommend that you stop focusing on calories and pay more attention to the quality of the products you eat since not all calories are equal. For example, 
A high calorie burger can be harmful, but high calorie nuts are useful. Vegetables, nuts, and seeds are natural and minimally processed, and they all contain more useful and healthy elements than their powdery dietary analogs. These products help us get used to a new diet, enrich our body with vitamins and minerals, and satisfy hunger. Number five, let cool air into your bedroom. Research from the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases and the National Institutes of Health suggests that cool temperatures in a room influence brown fat, a fat layer that protects the body from freezing. As a result, it splits white fat and burns chemical energy to create heat. Subjects had to sleep in rooms with different temperatures, neutral, cool, and warm. After four weeks of sleeping in a cool room, men got rid of a great amount of white fat from their abdomens. So go ahead and turn up the AC at night. Number four, forget about daytime sleep. Science proves that people burn less fat when they sleep during the day and are active at night. A group of researchers from the University of Colorado studied 14 healthy people for six days. During the first two days, subjects slept during the night and didn't have daytime naps. Then they changed their sleeping patterns to imitate owls' sleeping schedules. It turned out that when people took a nap, their metabolism worsened since their biological clocks didn't completely flip to fit their schedules. If you work night shifts, doctors recommend reducing the number of calories you consume by 50 to 60. Number three, once a week, break your diet deliberately. Cheat meals are a rather popular practice among amateur and professional athletes. This means you break your diet once a week. You're allowed to eat everything you want, even if these foods are banned from your diet. The secret behind this lies in tricking your mind. When you know how you're going to be rewarded for your efforts, it's much easier to refuse bad food to satisfy your spontaneous desires. Number two, get rid of stress. According to a study from Ohio State University, stress slows down our metabolism. What's more, when we're stressed out, we tend to eat more greasy, sweet, and salty foods. Scientists say that consuming high calorie products in stressful situations affect our metabolism and causes weight gain. So avoid binge eating at all costs when you're stressed. Number one, get plenty of sleep. A few more words about getting good sleep. A healthy eight hours of sleep from 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. contributes to great metabolism. It can also help you get rid of unwanted belly fat. In a study conducted by assistant professor Marie-Pierre Saint-Ange of Columbia University and assistant professor Ari Schechter of Columbia University Medical Center, subjects who slept less than five hours were more prone to weight gain and obesity than those who had sufficient sleep.